Palmer, the Tier 8 Kriegsmarine battleship, has sailed into Legends as a premium alternative to the Friedrich de Gross. It is essentially the same ship, just with a different main turret layout. Palmer has 12 380s. They are very inaccurate, with a 1.5 Sigma rating and have a long base reload of 33 seconds. But to make up for this, Palmer had some pretty robust secondaries with a base 7 km range, and the 105mm secondaries get improved pin. She also has four torps on each side, long range 6km sonar, like the Grosser Kerf first and a very strong armor scheme. That's Pomeran in a nutshell. There are a few ways to build your Pomeran. I settled with a pretty typical secondary build because what else am I going to spec into? The main battery is awful. So secondaries in slot one, reduce fire and flood damage in slot two, improve concealment and secondary reload time. Saliax or Hide would be good with perks to reduce your chance of getting burnt to a crisp, and as per usual, I'm using my fire build with Justinian Lions. If you want to improve the main gun accuracy a little more, use Cunningham or Iachino, because remember the Sigma, or the shell grouping on this ship, is atrocious, it's like firing a shotgun. And those two commanders could help clean that up a little. Maybe. I've heard Jojard being thrown around as an inspiration. I guess it's an option. At 12 kilometers, Jojo would give you an extra 30 millimeters of AP pin. Doesn't quite seem worth it in my book as a full inspiration, but you could test it out. Now, you may notice I'm using Running with Scissors in the legendary skill slot, and I usually never do this, but I'm trying it for a couple reasons. One, it's going to help with the traverse speed a little bit. This ship needs it. And it's also going to help with the rudder shift time, which Palmer definitely needs if you're going to be brawling, turning and burning, launching torpedoes, blah, blah, blah. And this special effect, your guns are going to deal a lot more damage when you're up close and getting in your enemy's face. The only drawback is you lose a little bit of main battery dispersion, but I'd argue the accuracy can't get much worse, so <laughs> it's fine. Fight Fire with Fire would be a great runner-up if you don't think this is useful for you. That'll help you keep from getting burned down so much. So how does Pomeran stack up against the competition? Well, she's tanky. She has a pretty big HP pool and strong heals that's going to give her the second best effective HP pool at tier 8. The armor's pretty robust, nice icebreaker, strong deck armor, a great turtleback scheme, but this ship seems to melt and I would guess it's because there's a lot of HP centered in the superstructure that is readily farmed out. I don't have exact statistics on this, but I mean it seems like easily 50,000 HP is centered in the superstructure, but don't quote me on that. It is also a large lumbering target, making it pretty easy to hit and light on fire with HE spam. So it's tanky, but you still can't just push straight in early game and expect to survive every time. The guns have decent DPM in theory, of course, depending on if you can actually hit your target or if you're penetrating the armor. The accuracy is straight up bad, and that's not all that's bad about the main guns. The gun caliber is also pretty small, 380s, so the AP pin can be a little disappointing. Unlike the small caliber of the Marlboro, you can't switch to HE and reliably farm with fire damage and Brit HE alpha. Remember, 380s cannot pin 27 millimeters armor, and that becomes a very common armor value for tier 8 cruisers. The reload is also the second slowest behind the SAP equipped Marco Polo, so settle in for nice long reloads between shots. And one last dig when it comes to the main gun performance, and that is the firing angles. They're atrocious. Not as bad as Marlboro's, but pretty close to it. So to bring your 12 guns to bear, you have to show quite a bit of broadside. Now, 12 guns is a lot, so you're still going to be able to deal decent damage, but uh, yeah, it's hard to get all of your guns on target. The secondaries are excellent. The 105s, like mentioned, have quarter pins, so they smash through 26 millimeters of armor, and it actually does help quite a bit, because without it, the 105s are essentially useless at tier 8, except for setting fires. The firing angles of the secondaries on Pomeran are great. At 30 degrees, you can pretty much get all of them firing enemy ships, so it's really quite nice. Torps. Four on each side, pretty typical ones that you're used to, 6km range. Most of the matches, you really won't get to use them, I would say. And also, I would say, in about half of my matches, the torpedoes got disabled. Mid-mounted torpedoes on German battleships like this are right at the center of the ship where enemies are going to be aiming. They will get knocked out quite a bit. The AA isn't good. 4.5 kilometer range, and overall AA DPS is average, but the range is pretty short, so you're a large floating target. But hey, at least you're not a Musashi. <laughs> Top speed is good, 31 knots, that's nice in a straight line, but the maneuverability goes to crap after that. The turning circle is a very bad 940 meters, rate of turn feels really, really sluggish, and the rudder shift is a long 17.3 seconds. So she's not really that agile, and you're going to notice it the first time that you load into a match with her. 
She's good in a straight line, but once you start turning and maneuvering, you're gonna feel just how sluggish she is. And let's end with the concealment. 15.4 is actually better than I thought. It's pretty average for tier 8 BBs, so yeah, just average. How should you play Palmer? Well, specking for the main gun performance seems like a waste to me, so I would definitely go for the secondaries and try to brawl when you're able to. It's really going to come down to timing your pushes with brawling. Too early, you could get focused and crushed. Too late, and the game may already be over and unwinnable. Even the best players still get this wrong, I know I do. But I would just say scope out how the reds are setting up early game, watching especially where enemy destroyers are going, and try to stay on the move. If you ever find this behemoth stuck bow in and trying to reverse out of a hail of enemy fire, you messed up, and you're going to be lucky to survive. So stay on the move until you find an opportunity to push. After playing Palmer, the best advice I could offer is that when you finally decide to push, forget about your rear guns. The firing angles are just too bad to bring them into and out of the fight without losing a lot of health. Plus, remember, they're not very good to begin with. Instead, maintain a 30 degree angle against enemy ships so that all of your secondaries can fire and deal damage. Tanking seems to be one of the best assets a Pomeran could bring to blue team, so hopefully the more time and resources of the reds you eat up, your team can be working on other parts of the match. In theory, of course. When in a brawl, I think she's a pretty fun ship, and I like this playstyle, of course, with German BBs, but there's a really big problem with the Pomeran, and it comes down to two words. Prince Rupert. Rupert is the dominant battleship at tier 8 currently, and it makes the Pomeran look like a large floating damage pinata. Prince has the better gun angles, the larger caliber shells, longer range secondaries with better accuracy, double the torpedo armament and longer range torpedoes, and it has a better sonar in my opinion with double the duration. Rupert is fast, she turns tighter, she has a faster rudder shift, and essentially the same concealment. Pomeran for its attributes is healthier, more tanky, has unlimited damage cons because remember Rupert only gets 3, but Prince 100% deals damage better than the Pomeran and all it takes is one game side by side to see that the prince is the better BB all around, and definitely the better brawler. Will it always be this way? Maybe not. I would say Prince is ripe for the nerf hammer to come crashing down on it. It's just too good, but right now there's no real circumstance where I would take the Pomeran out of the port before I would take the nice 100% free Prince Rupert out. Overall, I would give Pomeran 2 out of 5 stars. It performs as advertised. It's another German BB that comes with all of the good and bad things of it. It's definitely not the meta, but it is fun. It's it's like playing a bigger, worse turpits, I would say. The sonar is quite nice, though, and the ship modeling is excellent. It's a very, very good looking ship. The best part about it, it's only 2,500 doubloons with Admiralty backing, and you get lots of other campaign goodies. So, of course, to me, it's well worth getting Admiralty backing for the campaign. It's the best deal in the game. But other than that, I don't like the Pomern, and I doubt that I will be playing her much more. Let me know what you guys think of her in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you. Be sure to hit the like button as that greatly helps me out and subscribe for future videos. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.